From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. An unexpected passenger arrived on a Turkish Airlines flight after her mom gave birth. Crew members helped deliver the baby girl. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a good thing children fly for free. A man in India was arrested for driving 158 miles per hour. That is impressive for a guy on a unicycle. Scientists have created an artificial intelligence brain that learns just like the human mind. In fact, the artificial brain is so smart that it is thrilled that it's not human. An NRA employee accidentally shot himself last week during a firearms training session. The 46-year-old man was holstering his pistol when it accidentally discharged. The incident happened in Fairfax, Virginia at the NRA's National Firearms Museum. And that, folks, that's my demonstration of what not to do with your firearm. Any questions? Chuck Norris has been named an honorary Texan by the state legislature. Because, after all, who's going to be crazy enough to tell the guy no? One seven-year-old girl did not let her alopecia diagnosis stop her from participating in her school's Crazy Hair Day. Daniela Ride says that she was nervous when her daughter Gianessa came home from Salem Elementary School with details on their Spirit Week that included a day called Crazy Hair Day. Gianessa was diagnosed months earlier with alopecia, an autoimmune disorder in which the immune system attacks the hair follicles. While well, Daniela was hit by an idea after seeing some scrapbooking materials – decorate her daughter's head with adhesive jewels. It cost about $4 total, and it only took 10 minutes to apply. See, this, people, this is the way you deal with the world. This girl's mom, she could have gone all overprotective mom on the world and complained to the school about how Crazy Hair Day is discriminatory and unfair and should be canceled. But instead, she stepped up with her daughter to face reality and decided to take it in stride and actually made it work for them. That is how the world should be. Take a lesson, liberal snowflakes. The study says that songs are becoming shorter because of people's shortened attention spans. Man, they must have been really short songs in the 60s, man. Boeing and JetBlue are investing in a startup that makes battery-powered planes. Hey, guys, uh, if you want to save money on your startup, I hear you can get some really inexpensive batteries from the leftover Samsung Galaxy Note 7s. A 31-year-old artificial intelligence engineer in Hangzhou, China, claims to have married a female robot that he created. Zhang Zhaizhe built the Fembot last year and named her Yingyang. He married the lucky piece of electronics in an informal ceremony. Hey, you know what? You give her a volume control, you'll have a big hit with men all around the world. Last week on NBC Nightly News, anchor Lester Holt announced that Jupiter is now 415 miles from Earth. Holt, who just returned from South Korea, later tweeted, OK, you got me, left out the word million in Jupiter story, hanging that one on serious jet lag. <laughs> hey, honey! Yeah, instead of taking the kids to Disneyland this year, how about we head to Jupiter? It's closer! The University of Utah has become the first major sports school to give scholarships for competitive video gamers. Uh, why could this not have happened when I had the top score on Qbert back in 1982? Well, more embarrassment for the Secret Service. Law enforcement sources say that an agent on Mike Pence's security detail was suspended after he was seen leaving a prostitute's room at a Maryland hotel last week. You know, for an organization called the Secret Service, they're not very good at keeping things a secret. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. If you're already an official weirdo, well, do me a favor and share this video on your own social media to help the channel grow. Have you signed up for the Marler Sheet yet? Well, it is the official newsletter of Marler House 
and subscribers to the Marler Sheet, you're automatically entered in prize drawings, contests, and promotions. And this month, one of my Marler Sheet subscribers are going to win a Weird Darkness t-shirt and coffee mug. You can sign up for the Marler Sheet free today at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. For more weird news anytime, to sign up for the newsletter, to download my free mobile app, or to get Daily Dose of Weird News t-shirts and coffee mugs, visit DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!